making our way up the path toward the front door of Henderson Hall. Henderson Hall was built by George Washington Henderson and Elizabeth Ann Tomlinson. The part that you see now, this was added on to the original house and Eddie is going to greet us at the front door and he will be our virtual tour guide today. Hi, Eddie. Hello. Thank you for doing this for oh, O'Neill Center. Welcome. Come on into Henderson Hall, please. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. So where do we start, Eddie? You well, lead the way. A bit. I'll give you a little bit of information on the family and all that. They are the Henderson family. Everything you will find in this house is from the Henderson family. Nothing has been brought in. The house is very full of all kinds of articles from the 1700s all the way up even to the 19, late 1900s when the last season that Michael Ralston came back to open it up in the 1984 to what it is now today, a museum. He was here, he was the last descendant. He lived here till 2007 when he passed away. He gave it to the Oil and Gas Museum, which owns it now. But everything you find here is all the articles, you name it, that's here. Right here's a Patrick Henry Wright of Lee and Grant for the house and the property and all kinds of other things throughout. You get to view all three floors, the basement and even the white area on top of the house called the Belvedere. Okay, let's go. You All show right. us where to go from here. You can go and just take a look in any of the rooms and we'll go from there. Okay, are we allowed to? Okay, here's the South Parlor. The south Parlor. Okay, what do you, can you tell us about this, okay, Eddie? On top of the mantle there is the, the original builders, Elizabeth Ann and George Washington Henderson. They were the original builders who came here in the 1820s. They first had a log cabin dwelling in the bottom and later on, they built the back part section of the house of 1836. But then they later on, when they had more money, they built the front section, which we're in right now, of 1859, Victorian Italian age. Who is this first, lady over here in this corner? I'm not certain on that one. But I, the curtains in here were done by Rosalie in the 1920s. And you'll see a lot of her embellishments all throughout the house. She lived here her whole entire life, never married. She lived here until she passed away on January 19th, 1966. And then the house went to her sister then, Lorna, who was here until she passed away in 1983. And of course it became to Michael Ralston, the great, great grandson of the original builder. One of the things that makes Henderson Hall so unique is everything, as Eddie said, is um, pro was property of the Henderson family. And one of my favorite items is the brooch that's pictured um, in the portrait of Elizabeth Ann Tomlinson Henderson above the mantel. That is a mourning brooch and we'll take a peek at it in the museum, the pantry museum. We'll talk okay. about it more then. Okay, let's go down this. We can look into the north parlor. The north parlor is right across from the south parlor. Yes, and this is actually, the wallpaper in here was updated in 1999. Here again, we see the curtains that Rosalie made and the pier glass mirror in the corner was actually, they bought it from the Clark family who'd received it and as a gift, but it wouldn't fit in their home. Of course, the ceilings in Henderson Hall, on the first and second floor are 12 feet and on the third floor, nine feet tall. Wow. The clothing in here also? Yes, there's actually, that's Elizabeth, or Ann Rosalie's, one of her dresses and we actually have a clothing room up on the third floor. This is beautiful. And these are all original? Everything is original. Nothing has been brought in. And even we have even more things that we can rearrange and, out and put out. That's awesome. This is great. Thank you. What are these portraits in here? Those are Joseph Tomlinson and Elizabeth Hartford. They were actually Elizabeth Ann that built the house. That's her parents. Very nice. Okay. So if we go down this hall, we is that where go we're going, going next? We'll get to the dining room. And into the main dining room here in the hall, you will see it has uh, seating. Wow. And those chairs were actually made by William Cunningham, who was a furniture maker in Wheeling, Virginia, which is now West Virginia. And they bought him off the boat when he came down. 
And it's Havlin China that's on there, on the dining room tables, the oldest of the Havlin line. It's beautiful. The main dining room, does that mean there are more than one dining room? There is room? what we call the old dining room, the old house of 1836. That was later on used for family living. Beautiful. Okay, I'll follow you. Okay. Look at the hall tree. Wow. And this is the sitting room. We have the Navy's dishes here. And this is the, was their everyday room. And all this and that, it was where actually became their bedrooms later on when everybody later on in life. And this is a, the nanny's bench. So it can be the rock. nanny's bench. Wow. And one of the oldest pictures of Henderson Hall is right here. It's over here. And the reason why we know that it's one of the oldest pictures of the hall, as you can see in the master bedroom that's here, you can see Elizabeth Ann there with a child and on the chimneys on the top roof, the caps have not been put on them because whenever you build something, there's always a malfunction and the caps need had to be put on because it would make a backdrop in the house. <laughs> That's always fun to know. Oh well, yeah, well, you know, when you interesting build something, facts. something you forget, you know, when interesting it doesn't go right. This is beautiful. I love this light fixture. Yes, and all these light fixtures will come up and down and they still all do function as oil lamps. Wow, they still function? Yes, they still function. They were, when they got gas in the 1880s, everything was changed to gas and then was changed to electric. But when Michael came back here in 1984, he changed them, took out everything and took them back to their original fixtures. That's beautiful. The old Victrola. Who is this picture? I will have to look as I move my pictures. Okay. This is Margaret Wallace Henderson, daughter of George Washington Henderson. Okay, let's go. Okay. Do What's you go next? To the basement? Is that where we're going next? We can go to the next. We'll just go through this door, down the steps here. It's right here. Whoa. Okay. Down the basement. Down to the basement. Henderson. Wow. Well, this is really cool down here. Yes. We have our collection of a little bit of saddles, a little bit of everything down here. Now, what are these? What is this little? It's actually a pool. You can have a child in it and Somebody can pull them or you know, small animals can pull. Small animals. <laughs> then on over here in the corner, we have all of our crocs. We have all kinds of different, very popular things of the time for food storage and all this and that. And most people threw them away or just got rid of them. The Henderson saved it. And this big safe. Yes. And it's a safe within a safe. Cheese press. This is all so cool. Okay, which room <laughs> next? Go right into this, you lead the, the way so you can tell me as oh, we go okay. what we're seeing. Well, the, some of the things that are in here are very neat. This here is a precursor to what is the, it's called a fireless triple cooker. It's a precursor to the crock pot. You had stones that you put in the bottom that were hot, then you put the pots in there, and then you shut them and locked them, and then you came back hours later. I love that. Yes. The first crock pot. Yes. And there's all kinds of just different things here. You know, tobacco grinders, choppers, just you name it. It's dropped off here. Of course, we have the egg chicken brooder. We have two of them. So one's heated by a candle, and the other one's kerosene. You know, These anybody else would, would have, they've gone out of fashion or out of style, would have thrown it to the pile. They kept it. That's what makes the, the wow factor here. Everyone should see this in person. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's 
so much better in person. Of course, I'm amazed. The, the tool that's used for a rope bed. When you do a rope bed, you have to do everything just right because the tension has to be right all the way around. If not, it becomes undone. That's where the nursery rhyme, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite comes from. Oh, that's fun. Oh my goodness, which map is? This is a map that they found and made a copy of, a, of a, the Williamstown area, the different properties that people own. It has their names on it. It's very interesting if you want, if you know where you live in Williamstown or in the area in Marietta to look at and to find who actually owned it back in the day. Yeah. Is this, this Mindy? Is you can see where um, some of the Henderson children had written their names on the door and Aww. they were never painted over. Wow, that's fancy writing for back then. Okay, what's back in here? This is a little bit of everything room. Here again, when you come in here, there's mostly a collection of medicine bottles that are back here. Of all kinds of sorts, and still, some of them you can still read the labels and all the, of their contents. But wow. that's just where they saved them. So where does, where does all of this come from? Just their stuff. They, they never saved it all of Trust this? me, their documents that are here are enough to overwhelm you also this is a donation of the gentleman that made the schoolhouse that he grew up in and made it and donated to us that's beautiful and of course they were whiskey makers at one time so we have a still we have a still oh yes yes i like the still that's awesome washing machine the old washing machine <laughs> we are so spoiled we are spoiled yes. now you remember that when you see what we had to use before <laughs> Thank you for sharing the basement. Oh, we've got three or two more floors in a Belvedere. When you come up out of the steps out of the basement, if you want to turn and look completely up the self-supporting staircase here, all the way to the ceiling, it's actually 35 feet from floor to ceiling. That's beautiful. What a picture. Yes. That's gorgeous. Okay, since we're still on the okay. first floor. Let's I'll finish the first floor. That's the first floor. New edition of 1859. We're gonna go into the doorway here that's into the 1836 home. When you step into it, we have what's called the museum room. This room has a little bit of everything in it. Oh, this is our, you know, you name it. They had it, we found it, and we put it in here. All the artifacts. Oh, yes. And even one George Washington. This would take you a long time to be able to look at each little artifact. And you guys have tours here? Tuesday through Sunday, 12 to 5. 12 to 5. So yes. then you guys could show everyone all it's, of these little a artifacts. It's tour, but we do, you know. You have all the information. Yes. And of course, over here we have... Here are the morning brooches that we talked about earlier. Oh, yes. And there are teeth in here? Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there False are pearls. teeth. <clears throat> there are curls here. Yep. Little Paul tiny Henderson's bones. Curls. Henderson's curls? Paul yes. Henderson's curls. And there's a picture on the second floor. Oh, my goodness. That shows a picture of him with his curls. <sighs> there's so much in here to look at. Yep. And even here's a bottle of whiskey. Let's say Henderson. I love it. Yeah. And we'll go take a break and we'll go back into the old dining room of the 1836 home. Wow. And this is, has the Rosalie who was here all of her life. This is kind of the room as a tribute to her. It has her hand painted china that's on the table and everything else, even her etchings and her woodworkings are on display back here. What about this wallpaper? This wallpaper is more modern. It's from the 1990s when Michael Ralston, who lived here, the last descendant, he redid this room in the wallpaper, What's Today? In the orange ceiling, he researched it out of what a An dining room of that period would be. This is we have the big open fireplace here. Does this fireplace work? They are closed off. We use them with the gas logs, but then we will go back into 
the original kitchen. I love this place. <laughs> So this is the original kitchen. This is the original kitchen of the 1836 home. And this is the fireplace that they would have cooked on. Now this is fabulous. Everybody remember how lucky you are now to have a stove that you can just <laughs> turn it on. Because this is what they had to do before. We are so spoiled. One of my favorite items here, this is a spritz cookie maker. So if you've ever made spritz cookies, that's what this is, is a spritz cookie press. That is so cool. I have not heard of that, but... I'm sure that some of our viewers have heard of that. So what else is... And there's all kinds of still crocs in here on display. And, and the here. old stove. Yes. This old stove is super cool. So all of this was the original kitchen. Yep. Even the wooden bowls. The and old Hoosier that. cabinet. Yep. The wooden bowls. Yep. This is all really, really nice. Okay. Now we'll, thank we'll go you. Up onto the second floor. Well, yeah. thanks for the first floor. You can see the beams from the original house. Beams. 